Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. Serbia relaxes COVID-19 limitations even more. 2. With laptops and beanbags, a London school combats COVID fallout. COVID-19. Serbia relaxes COVID-19 limitations even more. Serbian authorities agree to ease restrictions even more on Monday, as the country appears to be taming the coronavirus outbreak using vaccines. Customers could dine both indoors and outside until midnight starting Tuesday, as well as enjoy late-night movie screenings. In addition, the number of participants who can attend commercial and scientific congresses has expanded from 100 to 200, according to a government news statement. According to official figures, 2,062,128 persons in Serbia, a country with a population of roughly 7 million people, have been fully inoculated against the coronavirus, with 4,606,992 doses of vaccines delivered thus far. Authorities began immunizing high-risk resident groups with the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine in December of last year, while Serbia got the first batch of Sinopharm vaccinations in mid-January and began mass vaccination. Thanks to financial incentives to encourage people to get the vaccine, the number of COVID-19 cases in Serbia dropped dramatically in May, and there was a surge in interest in receiving the vaccine. The declining trend in new coronavirus cases across the country continues, with only 248 new cases confirmed in 8,684 tests in the last 24 hours. There have been 712,472 confirmed instances of coronavirus infection since the outbreak began, including 6,865 deaths. Serbian Prime Minister Anna Brnabic recently stated that the country could vaccinate nearly half of its adult population thanks to the 4.2 million vaccine doses purchased from China. COVID-19. With laptops and beanbags, a London school combats COVID fallout. Schools across the UK are scrambling to make up for the disruptions caused by COVID-19, which has disproportionately impacted children from low-income and ethnic minority families. Students in England lost an average of 115 days of in-school instruction as a result of the pandemic, which hampered academic progress and hampered the social and emotional development of students of all backgrounds. Children trapped in cramped apartments without easy access to computers suffered the most, fueling fears of rising inequality in a country where 800,000 people have lost their jobs and food bank use is on the rise. Even before COVID-19, students from low-income families were academically 18 months behind their wealthier peers by the end of secondary school. According to the Education Policy Institute, a London-based think tank, the gap has likely widened in the last year. After sending paper study packs home with students at first, they transitioned to online learning as the first lockdown lasted through April and May 2020. Staff members called students and parents on a regular basis to reassure them that they were not alone. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.